Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge Plank Pendant. This is from a subset of Hubbardton Forge called Vermont Modern. 139920 is the number. Let's jump in. So, a lot of things to talk about on this fixture. This is a dedicated LED to begin with. It's going to be using 20 watts of power that are going to be coming down through those cables. One, set, one side is positive, one side is negative. It's going to give you uh, 850 lumens, which is about a 75 watt bulb at the end of the day. It is dimmable, which is great. Um, and beyond that, now let's jump into, well, let's talk about size first. So when we talk about size, we're going to be talking about two different things. The size of the fixture body, and that's the bottom part below that's being, that's hanging from those cables. And then the overall height is really from the bottom of the fixture to the ceiling itself. So the fixture body itself is, it's pretty short. So it's 2.9 uh, inches tall, 48 inches long, and the depth of it is 3 inches. When we add in the overall height with the canopy to the ceiling itself, now we're talking about the shortest it can be from the ceiling down is 18 inches. Longest it can be as standard product is 100 inches. And that's, again, from the bottom of the fixture to the ceiling itself. If you guys need this to be shorter than the short or longer than the long, drop me a quick email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we do a lot of custom stuff every day. It's not a big deal. Adds a little time and money, but... Um, it's something, like I said, we do, or I do, every single day here. So moving on from there, um, finishes on this are going to be interesting, and then there's two accents. So let's talk about those accents first. So you can order this two ways, and there's a, um, like a horizontal plank, there you go, that's just over the fixture body that's holding the LEDs, and that fixture, um, I'm sorry, the plank can be either wood, which is kind of a, uh, a glossy maple, very pretty, or it could be steel. And if it's steel, you're going to have a choice of a lot of different finishes. So Vermont Modern has its own collection of finishes. There's six of them, and you're going to be able to see those on the pull-down menu. Uh, and if you go over to Hubbardton Forge's site, you can see those on uh, the page for this for, under options. If you decide that you actually like the other Hubbardton Forge finishes, and let's talk about those for a second, scoot over to our site. Over on the right-hand side of the screen, actually, left-hand side of the screen, there's going to be a finishes help guide. Click on that for me. There's a video on that page. It's me talking to you guys about a lot of finished things. But scroll down a little bit, and you're going to see a chart. And the chart is going to have pictures with the letter A on them, pictures with the letter B on them. Zero in on those pictures with the B for boy on them, and just take a good look, as well as just a little below that, and you're going to see some opaque finishes as well. Those are the regular Hubbardton Forge finishes that I can do on this plank LED as a custom. Adds a little money, adds a little time, not returnable, but again, we do this stuff every day. So I just want to make sure that you guys know, in addition to the six finishes from Vermont Modern, like aqua and red and gloss white, you can also do things like dark smoke, you can do vintage platinum, a lot of those other finishes too. You can even mix it up a little bit. So if you wanted to do black on most of the fixture and take the plank and do it in gold, you could do that if you wanted to. Again, custom, you're going to have a combination of now, with me, 16 finishes to play with on this fixture as opposed to just the six that you get from everybody else. So keep that in mind. And, and again, I do customs all day long because that's just kind of what we do. We're the biggest dealer in the world of Hubbardton Forge, and we do a lot of complicated stuff. These videos help you understand what I can do for you. So moving on from there, um, this is going to be using, like I said, uh, 20 watts of LED. It's an LED strip. It's going to be coming, shooting down through a piece of acrylic, cast acrylic, which is really cool. So in addition to, to focusing the light down, that acrylic itself is going to glow, almost like a fiber optic, so it's pretty cool too. Um, I think that's pretty much everything you need to know about this as far as all those options go. <clears throat> if you're on the page for this, I want to show you uh, how it all kind of sets up as far as parts go. Look over on the right-hand side of the screen on our site, on our page for this, and under those pull-down menus, scroll down and there's going to be a hyperlink, a link. It's going to say, click here for installations instructions PDF. Click on that for me. That's going to be the same installation instructions that are going to be in the box for this. And the reason I want you to see them now is I want you to be able to see the canopy, um, how that's all set up. Canopy is 38.5 by 4.5. It's going to go over your standard 4-inch junction box. You guys have this in your ceiling right now, I hope. Um, after that, it's going to show you how the cables go in, how this is installed, and when you put those cables up through the grippers that are in the canopy, you have to make sure you get it exactly where you, where you want it. So you, you, know, you kind of bring it up 
the cables are going to go up into the gripper, through the gripper, and then they're going to kind of come back down again. And you're going to be pulling this up, almost like a lifeboat on the side of a ship. <clears throat> so you're going to be pulling it up, pulling it up, pulling it up, getting it to where you want it to be over whatever you're doing, table, kitchen island, or whatever. And you're going to get it level, make sure it's level, and then you're going to be clipping those at the very top on those grippers. So make sure you get it exactly where you want it to be. So after that, um, you'll be able to see, like I said, how it goes on this, how all the parts go together. There's a parts list, just lots of good information for you guys. So that is that. Um, when you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if you ship out of the state of Vermont, and we're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. Nobody else does that. Some larger items do not come back. Custom items do not come back. We'll always tell you about the big things that don't come back, normally on big pallets on our website. But um, everything else is going to be three months after you get it, which is pretty astounding in my view anyway. Um, on top of that, we have a rush program. So, Hubbardton Forge normal lead time for product is about three to four weeks in production. They don't stock anything. That's how you're going to get all these finishes to play with. We can cut that time in half. It's very inexpensive. So, drop a quick email to me and I can walk you through that. Okay, good to know. Um, our showroom in Vermont is open every day except Sunday. We have over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures on display. Back on our website, there's a back in the red tabs, there's a what's on display page. So scoot over there and check that out for me. It's going to show you everything that's here before you guys come up. Showroom is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You can call me at 802-446-2400. You can email us at sales at handmadeinvermont.com. There's a contact button on our website too. It's up on the top of the screen. Uh, showroom, uh, like I said, has over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. Biggest showroom in the world. Also has a clearance center. So clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. You have to come here to use it. It's returns, discontinued stuff, and showroom samples. So I think that kind of covers basically everything. Lots of details on this plank pendant. Don't be afraid to email me questions because I love to answer them, okay? And thanks for stopping in today. Take care. Bye-bye.